growing up as a little boy back in the 50s um, with my grandfather, it was really a farm and a winery. Um, it, it was very much hands-on and it was great fun. I just loved the smells and the sights and the whole sensation of, of the winery. So yeah, I, I was um, won over very quickly at a very young age. It's been um, run um, without any compromise whatsoever when it comes to wine quality and uh, we, we've, we've seen um, it's in vertical tastings it's past it's present and you can easily project into the future. I guess the weather is our, our first one I guess it either gives us great things or it makes life a little bit difficult but there, there's always a pathway through and uh, yeah I think it, it it really makes the job of um, managing vines fascinating. And wine making's changed dramatically in, in my lifetime. And I, I think if I look back at my grandfather and father, it was very much a hands-on, natural sort of style of making wine. And they were really keen to have more science and it was my generation. It's not often that you'll get an immediate picture of where it came from, how it's made, etc. Um, just standing out there in three-dimensional uh, uh, you know, colour. It's got um, very little added to or subtracted from it. And uh, that's why it's, because it's almost transparent, that's why you can see the Eden Valley. For us, it's really important to to be recognised for something that's special. Um, and so it's an absolute joy for us to get this recognition. We're very proud of our family history. I'm fifth generation, so it's been so much effort put in by previous generations. Um, I'm indebted to them, so yeah, and it's a great joy.